Welcome back to Elite Bytecode. Today, we're going to talk about conditions in JavaScript. Before you here is a simple HTML file printing out the header tag and the H3. And in the H3 is where we intend to write our simple JavaScript with DOM manipulation. If you need an insight about DOM manipulation, go to the JavaScript playlist and then watch a video that I created about DOM manipulation in JavaScript. If we take a look at this, that we see that we can easily manipulate the DOM manually in this span tag, but that is not our intention because JavaScript is beautiful enough to do this without writing this number in here. And in that way, you can add logic to these numbers without uh, manually writing them in the DOM. Let's take a look at how we can do that. Here is a simple JavaScript script. And what I'm doing here is getting to the Boolean value ID, which is the span tag over here. And that is what I intend to use to manipulate the DOM. Let us take a look at the boilerplate of any condition in programming. And if you really understand this algorithm, you'll be able to do anything in JavaScript, not only in JavaScript, but any programming language out there because it's the same logic. Now, conditions are very fundamental to understand because you can use them to execute whatever you want in JavaScript. Let's look at let's look at the logic behind here. So conditions normally test for something being either true or false. And the first statement is normally the true statement. The next statement is false. So what happens here is that the condition checks for if whatever condition is assigned to it is true, this will be executed. Now, in that case, it will not bother continuing to the false statement because something can either be true or false. However, be sure to watch on to find out how we can check something for being in between true or false. Let's start with something being either true or false. Here is a simple example of checking whether a number is negative or positive. And in this case, this number is negative. So the condition is going to check for if this number is positive. Checking for a number if that number is positive is checking if the number is greater than zero. Now, zero is not included. This is checking for whether the number is greater than or equal to zero, meaning zero is included. So we do not need that. What we're looking for if a number is either one, two, three, four. And it looks like this number is not among those. So this statement is going to be skipped and then it's going to move forward to the next one, whereby obviously if the number is not greater than zero, it's going to be obviously less than zero. So this statement will be executed. And if you look in the console over here, it looks like five is printed out. So now how can we push this to the browser? We can simply just write value.text content. This is a built in function for manipulating the DOM. And what we are going to assign here is that very number. As soon as we do that and refresh, that number is printed out. So this statement, whatever is here has been seen as garbage. All right. And this is now what is valuable to this very condition. Let us look at how we can check if a number is zero. So that is to say not negative, not positive, but just zero. So if we take a look here, this is a simple example. Now checking if the number is zero, let us take a close look at what's happening here. So if the number is greater than zero, in this case, it's not greater than zero. It is zero. All right this statement is going to be executed. That is why we are not seeing anything in the DOM yet. That's why we're also getting um, an error here. Is this number less than zero? No. All right. That is why we are not seeing anything yet printed out in the DOM. So now let us look at the very last one. Else is this number zero? So what is happening here? It looks like we're checking for if the number is greater than zero, print it out send it to the DOM. Here's a few things that need to be fixed. So if the number is greater than zero, print it out. If the number is less than zero, print it out. In this case, none of these are valid. Take note of that. Is this number greater than zero? No. Go to the next one. Is it less than zero? No go to the next step. So all this is going to be considered as garbage and this will only 
be considered. This is a simple way to approach JavaScript. Now, you can use this to check for even numbers. You can use this to check for odd numbers. You can use this to do a lot of things in JavaScript. This was a few of the ways you can do stuff with JavaScript and manipulate the DOM in this very manner. If you watched until this end, thank you for watching. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to click the bell icon that way you can get notifications whenever we upload a new video. Bye bye.